So we want to list all the outcomes for spinning a spinner twice that has red, black, white, and gray. Thank goodness there's none of that perverted purple stuff, right? So if I spin, let's look at our outcomes right account. Uh, and I'm just going to do this in rows. I can get red on the first spin and then red on the second. I can get red on the first and then black on the second one. I can get red on the first and white on the second. Or I can get red on the first and gray on the second. And I will continue this process for all of the other colors. And that does it right there. Again, maybe a tree diagram is good for you, but we know there was 16 because there's four possible outcomes on the first and four choices on the second, so four times four is 16. Why? Why do you multiply? Because each one of those colors, whatever we spin on the first one, has four on the second, so we have four groups of four. Just as we see in the sample space, right here.